Hi everybody, this is John McCurrick and this is episode 11, episode 10 and 1, episode 11 of the Ask Big Mac Show. And before I get started, I say this every time, you must subscribe, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. There it is, my YouTube channel. Now Booby, let's get on with the, the uh, programme, what we're actually saying and I want is an easy question to start. I don't want anything taxi me, I'm not very fit and bright today. Come on, easy one. First question from Paul Rogers from Twitter who asks, why don't you switch to the Canaries now? Nearer to Newmarket and Dealey will cook you some lovely meals. Listen, you cannot switch. It's impossible to switch clubs. You're brought up, you live with a club, that's it. And a lot of people do. And they go and they have their local team, then they go Man United or Chelsea or Arsenal, Liverpool, whatever it is. But you can't switch. Now, Newcastle from the very start, I know Norwich and Newcastle, the end teams, you could say that, but it'd be impossible to change. I like old Delia and I like Norwich. And, um, you know, they're, they're a team that I ho hope they don't go down. But if it's between us and Norwich to go down in relegation, clearly it has to, has to be Norwich. Like the Canaries, but always remember you've got one team. That's it. Don't switch. Don't join up for something more fashionable or doing better. Stay loyal, as I have to the lads, the tune to the bitter end, I'll be with them. Away the lads! That's me, Boobie, next question. Second question from Richard Gibbons from Twitter, who asks, after nearly every race, you used to say, they knew, when any random bookie was a shade shorter in the morning, knew what? Uh, well, very, very good question. It's, um, you always look to, uh, all, every race is, is a jigsaw puzzle. There are lots of clues. And one of the clues is if certain bookmakers wanted to lay a horse, especially wanted to lay, want to go and get it. And for instance, they used to say Ladbrokes the magic sign. If they went shorter on a horse, that means that they knew something, and especially they sort of had connections with Mike Dillon of Ladbrokes, connections with Coolmore over in Ireland. If they were shorter, or if they were longer price on the horse, it means, well, maybe it wasn't a fancy. It didn't always work out, but it was a clue. So, of course, if a bookmaker really is standing up, a standing horse in there, and it was believed had connections or knew somebody in the stable, whatever it is, these were in the old days, and not so much happens now. I used to shout out, they knew, there you are, the bookmakers used to infuriate people <laughs> to say that. But it, there, was, there was some truth in it at some, at, on some occasions. So it was a, a sort of another clue, another part of the jigsaw puzzle. Didn't always work out, but always remember, they knew. That used to get them all angry. Right, carry on, Bube. Third question from Gary Smith on Facebook, who asks, what's the biggest win you've ever had? Well, Gary, a lot of people ask this question, and the biggest win you ever had is it always depends on what you have at the time. Now, if you're absolutely a skint merchant and you've got hardly any money at all, and you have a pound on a horse and it wins a 10 to 1, that, that is a huge win. But if you're a millionaire and you have £100,000 on a horse and it wins £200,000, so what? So it's a question of what state your finances are in at the time. But the one, the most memorable one, and I'm always quoting it, is Zephonic in the 1993-2000 Guineas. It went on and it won the um, Prix Salamandra over in Paris as a two-year-old. And uh, most of the bookmakers were over in Ireland for the Irish Champion States, but one or two were there, including Coral, were there at Launchaw. We were there for Channel 4 to cover it. And immediately after the race, um, Coral's quoted 8 to 1 against Zephonic for the 2,000 guineas. So I leapt in and had a £25,000 to £3,000, to three, which is the fractions, 8 to 1 with the fractions. So I should have won £25,000, but of course all the other Channel 4, my colleagues, were all diving in for bits and pieces of it. So how much I got in the end, uh, well, it was far less than twenty five grand as it ought to have been. And when Zafani won, it was, you know, a really memorable race in the 93, 2000 guineas. So that, I would say the biggest win and the most memorable win and the win that probably meant as much as any to me. But I only wish I'd got all that £25,000. That would have been really handy. Less than that. But it was needed, necessary. But it's not kept me in front, I'm afraid. About six weeks later, I was down. So, as usual. But nevertheless, it's a funny 25,000 quid. I'll stick by that, though most of my colleagues took most of it. That's a shame on me for letting them. Right, so thank you for watching. Make sure you all subscribe to my YouTube channel and keep on sending in your questions on Twitter at Real McCrurick and on Facebook 
real McCreek by adding the hashtag AskBigMac. And if I didn't answer your question, I'll keep on say, saying that. Please keep sending them in. There's always have some fun. We love read, reading them anyway, even if we don't use them all. So get the questions in and always remember the booby. You'll be privileged to know she will be reading out your questions on the Ask Big Mac show. 